Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Ah, we're back on the Invincible. We're going to continue where we left off at. Let's see if we can remember what we did last. Other than fall down a great big hole. Mm, yep. Find the rope, go down... I don't know what possessed us to want to follow the same path, but, you know, we did. We had our last compound with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. That's where we came down at. Anyway, what's the idea of doing it alone? Good reason. That's right, we're playing with this. That's incredible. It makes a disturbing impression. Yeah, let's go with that. What is this place? It makes my skin crawl. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Yeah, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going. Despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his... Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, none. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection. Set up a transmitter. Uh, there's nothing on the comms. But I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. Left or right? All right, I'll try to walk this kind of bridge. Remember correctly, the atmosphere here is breathable. Basically, yes. Dr. Krauser, however, warned that the methane content. I know, I know. But the effects won't be immediate. That gives us a few extra hours. So, we can breathe the atmosphere, but we shouldn't. <laughs> That's comforting. Big massive hole in the ground is also comforting. Are they still everywhere? Yep, wherever I look, there's metal. Yeah. Nice. to get out. Uh, phew. The load-bearing capacity. Ah, uh, again. Maybe you should use the 
detector will indicate the thickness of the structure. Uh, out of the frying pan. Uh, into a hole. Yeah, well, if that's the case, then that means I'm on the strongest part. Yet I still... step was a gamble Walking in the white spots instead of the dark areas. Because the dark area obviously means you're screwing up. This is what it feels like. So far, it will lead to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man, nor for any humanoids. Then, who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Hmm. I think there might be something to it. I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. This is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. May be right. The question is, who's behind all these disruptive activities? That I don't know, sir. Hmm. 
I do not want that. Which way are we going? I'm guessing. Came from that way, so. that way or the quick way I think I'll take the slow way time seems to there are more traces this time handprints and a drop detector what? did I hear you right Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean you should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. Well, he's already over that way, so that kind of tells me it's probably that way. have here though, I mean. Wouldn't it be simpler to go around? I found something. Again. Um. I suspect Gorski might have damaged his suit. If the tear doesn't exceed twenty millimeters, the reactive polymer layers will self seal. Well, that's true. Nevertheless, it looks worse and worse. I found more of his gear. Back in the camp, you reported Marek's abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. Uh, this scene looks disturbingly similar. No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet Gorski... I do believe we're going to go around, I think this way looked like it went down, so we'll go this way. <coughs> Maybe. No passage. Hmm. Out the other way, has it got a, a path? This always makes me comfortable. Like I said, that always makes me comfortable. Those sinkholes again. Yes. I have his position. Okay. Not yet. Go 
Kowski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still not? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. There he is. I see him. Yeah. Got him. He's not moving. Breath. That's a good sign. Gorski! Gorski! Look at me! His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did you react in any way? No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out. The probe's already looking for a landing site. Okay. Let me just... Uh, I'm, I'm pulling him... Uh, out. Uh, done. He's out. Activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? No, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Officer can land in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, Yasna. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? I'm not even here. Hold on, Gorski. You yeah, still can't hear the doctor. Keep repeating. Don't be angry, sir. But. But what? Please go ahead. After. Con after careful consideration, I gave Gorski my tank. We still don't know when you'll send the lander, so I can't leave him without oxygen. Doctor, I explicitly told you not to. Let's hope Artie can finish the job if you're both Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should stop.
Luckily, that thing was there. Otherwise, we'd be a uh, a splat on the ground somewhere. Yeah. What? Oh, what was that? Astrogator, hey, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just. Keep it together. Heartbeats racing. <laughs> okay, so our electronic globe ball, whatever you want to call it. Brought us in here. Where is he at? Or should I say, where is it at? Deposit of water. Probably unsafe for consumption. I'd rather not risk it. Meteoric waters. No. <sighs> Too deep. Let's hope it's not fossil. Otherwise, I'll never reach the surface. <sighs> Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors. Situation. Hopeless. Where I just came I from? I got flares. Oh, come on. Yeah, a wet flare. That's gonna me. that's gonna do a lot. Yeah, news flash for anybody that don't know anything about flares. Once they get wet, they're done. Unless they're designed to get wet, and that's a different story. Obviously, hers are not designed to get wet. What happens when you cheap out on stuff? She has no hope. <laughs> Who's that? I, I can't see. Crowder. Is that you? But how? You, you were supposed to... Doctor. Why won't you answer me? It's good to see you again, Yasna. Unfortunately, there is no time for pleasantries. We need to get out of here now. supposed to do that you're way up look to your left should be easier from there i'll keep an eye on you from above you won't lose me if we stay in contact and hopefully both of us will make it to the surface i'm 
I'm not going anywhere until you explain how you found me. Then I guess you'll die because I refuse to waste time on explanations. Your choice, Jasper. Asshole. Well, he was very helpful, wasn't he? And, uh, who all wants to bet he's not really there? afraid of dehydration hypoxia methane poisoning the list is quite long oh, what were you thinking really i warned you against opening your helmets let alone giving all your oxygen to a dead man a complete failure of reason in the act of futile heroism gorski isn't dead that's why i left him my damn tank yeah, you might as well be do you really think giving him oxygen was enough? Something attacked you up there. Odds are, it got Gorski as well. We'll check and come back for him. Novik should be monitoring his parameters after all. Yeah, about that. You shouldn't trust everything the old man says. He only tells us what he sees fit. Huh? What do you mean? Doesn't matter now. Let's focus on getting out of this maze. Is your equipment operational? Mapping damage? I think so. Flares are wet, though. What equipment do you have on you? Procedural minimum or more? The telemeter, tracer, a metal detector. Other than the latter, I, I, I'd say the bare minimum. Slow down. I need to rest. Ah, rest is for the dead. against time, Yasna. We're constantly fighting for life, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I don't want to fight anymore. I, I don't want to fight. All right, Yasna. Have it your way. What? A moment ago, you were forcing me to struggle on. But now you'll let me die. <laughs> just like that. Uh, not just like He's that. He's not gonna coddle you. you could. But even that wasn't enough. You have the right to finally give up. No. No, not over. I haven't given up yet. Can you walk? Yeah. Probably. I just need to catch my breath. On second thought, I imagine there are worse places to die. It's rather peaceful, actually. Just close your eyes and let yourself go. Fall asleep. Okay. I'm getting up. Turns out I prefer to live than let you talk me to death. Give up. That 
the right attitude. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness. There you are. All my talking turned out to be quite helpful, huh? Don't push it, Crowther. Historic reptiles, then yes, they're further up as well. Finally, we have proof there was life on the land. After all, millions of years ago. Uh, is it really such good news? Because now, not even bacteria or viruses. I'm starting to suspect that someone or something prevents organisms from moving ashore. Perhaps stop them from leaving the water. If so, I think it stops them to this day. In other words, it's still here. And it nips all manifestations of life in the bud. Why then have I not met it yet? Speaking of Novik, why do you give him such a hard time? Do you really need to ask? The old man sits safely in orbit. All he cares about is our reporting, as if we weren't fighting for our lives here. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Novik cares about people more than protocols. If so, he must love us dearly, because he sure does love protocols. You're always a few steps ahead of me. Simple. I outpace you because I'm moving my legs, not my mouth. Yeah, and I don't think you're actually here. It's time to be among other people again. They are there, somewhere. I promise. And why didn't he just wait for her right there? I mean... Yeah, it's kind of suspicious. I'm starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that caused my fall? It doesn't matter now. If you stay here, death is certain. I report that the comms are back. I repeat, the line is working again. Finally! Yes, sir! You can't even imagine! 
Myself. All right. I see that for now. Are you injured in any way? Uh, no. <clears throat> As usual, I came out of trouble unscathed. these kind of crab legs. <laughs> you must evacuate immediately. It sounds like you know what it is, sir. Well, I have my suspicions. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. You're fucking kidding me, sir. <laughs> I'm not. Yay! You still have a visual on the object. I seem to be in luck. It behaves as if it's searching for something and completely ignores me. Uh, if it has no thermal vision, it might not register your presence at all. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and Invincible already landed on Weavis 3, it would have a huge advantage over us. I can see a passage. But it doesn't look very inviting. Oh, anyway. Shit! What? It's still here. I have to. I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, it's coming at me. Let's find out some information here. Also a switch. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. I guess it's busted for good. <sighs> you guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. And... That's me. Wow. Really did almost flatter me. Probe. It 
It distracted the anti-mats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. Of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. <gasps> you could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. another companion my last one you still have me not down here okay hit call down are you talking about the probe call <sighs> well they say in order to win over a person have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. Time to get out of here. Oh, not good. You simply don't get a break. What is it this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That, that's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Are you asking about? I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So. I'm good. Considering all factors. Uh, Crowther's warnings were clearly exaggerated. Oh, damn it. The storm's getting worse. Are you sure? You sounded... <laughs> Crazy. I was going to say confused. It's easy to lose your mind here. But physically, I'm fine. Don't worry. Yeah, until... Uh... Bolt of lightning goes through your body. That's not good.
Okay. Um, okay. Not what I need to do. <laughs> we have us a set of wheels. How are the conditions? I'm going. Please talk to me. Maybe that will calm me down. Oh shit! It hit the bonnet! Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out and escape. The vehicle is, is kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body. I'm not worried. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. And there are exceptions, you know. Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. Doesn't stress me out at all. I remember a mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. But the crew was quite similar. Chemists, cybernetics, doctor, and engineer and a physicist. Simple reconnaissance mission. But there was a miscalculation and we crashed the rocket. Then we put it back together. <laughs> For whatever was on hand. Clone machine. A true Frankenstein monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of it. Oh, wait. Creatures? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. Yeah. Only a bit creepy. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, how far am I from the city's border? 
but considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse... You don't know, do you? It's not that simple. There are too many unknown variables. No idea where I'm going, what I'm supposed to be doing, how I'm supposed to get there. How are you doing, Yasna? I'm still alive. The signal's just weak. Unfortunately, yes. But it's hardly surprising. Okay, some kind of indicator of saying I'm going the right way would be nice. No, no, no. Okay. That doesn't help. into a cave. The storm has subsided. Okay. Completely new to me. <laughs> I found a place to hide. I found a cave? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model up there? Of the road back? <sighs> what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh... Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Emmets are equipped with the black box. Please find it. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? No, I must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalog of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data lockers. Eureka. Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug.
I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the press break there. And press that. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. <laughs> same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. Rest in an area where there's pretty much nothing. Mm -hmm. The rover was connected to a base. The uh, most probably. Okay. Pressing the right trigger. What are we doing? Back over here. is transmitting from the base on the other channels all I hear is static the storm must be causing interference Suggest you lie down. The storm's raging. Best to sleep through the night. Um, did you fall asleep? <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. Let's see what happens. We wake up and we're surrounded by a bunch of enemies, or not good. What is that this time? Storm Cloud is approaching your location. Oh, wait, Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Luna? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Oh, the neck 
Next is... Okay, so this is interesting. We're having to put in a code. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm here. <clears throat> I should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. And let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. Well, we've hit the checkpoint. Astrogator, which is a good I think plan. I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator, the city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. I was in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep. All clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Hm. Have you examined Merritt's body yet? I wired her brain to a grave tapper, if that's what you're asking. Yes. That's what I meant. Have you watched the memory recording? Yes. But they didn't say anything because their picture is ambiguous. To put it mildly, a lot of black dots. The graininess of the image is extremely bad. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. Can you see it? There we go. Now it comes in. It's as clear as possible. Like I said, it looks good. Clear opening, flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Artie inside. So that's it. You're taking me to the Dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir? I wasn't keen on this mission from the start. We were supposed to return a long time ago. And that's what I want. I want all of us to return home, dead or alive. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Archie with other tasks. So we're sitting here with a road to the landing zone, a road to the Alliance base. And looking at the time, 
it is uh, come to that time where we have to make a decision where are we going are we going back to the landing zone or are we going to the alliance base and also it's also came to time that we have to say goodbye ah uh, i know traversing this planet i'm becoming more and more convinced that what this. i is not the same as what exists what can exist I must admit it's an interesting thought. I'm oh. Disturbed. Anyway, unfortunately, we have to call it here. Uh, we did hit the checkpoint back there, so next time we come in, we'll we'll be getting from that point coming up to here again. And while we're waiting, how about y'all hit that comment section and tell me which way would you like me to go? Would you like me to go to the landing zone, or would you like me to go to the Alliance base? I'm eagerly awaiting to see what y'all have to say about it. And in the meantime, though, I hope y'all stay safe. Take care, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Oh, wait a minute, real quick. If you like what you see, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of all the videos that get posted. Again, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye!